I'll wash the liquor out of your breath. We've got a big day ahead of us. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. <laughs> Blood and Lace opens with a murder, shot from the murderer's point of view, showing the weapon itself. Which must have seemed like a clever way to build anticipation until you realise that given where the hammer is and the fact that it's held rigidly there, the murderer must have had it taped to his face until he needed it. It's also surprisingly flammable. This murder leaves young Ellie going to an orphanage. Ellie, you're still a minor. This does seem to be one of those rare orphanages that mostly caters to adults. And I'm nearly 21. No, you're not. But we'll forgive this as it's run by Gloria Graham, who starred in The Big Heat. Oh, but that's in the past. And the man from social services says it's fine. Look, I inspect that house myself twice a year. Really? Here's a kid trying to run away. <laughs> I feel like the inspections could have been more rigorous. Much more rigorous. Poor kid. I'm thirsty. How long have you been here? I'm still thirsty. But I don't know. Won't hurt me. So, we have a gory murder and an orphanage where kids are mistreated and then frozen in the basement. And where no one questions a man carrying a bloody sack with a hand hanging out of it. What are you doing, Tom? I'm working. Go back upstairs, Pete. Okay, don't get mad. Then there's Gloria Graham's husband. He's not living, but that doesn't mean he's dead. He just likes to do impressions of Norman Bates's mum. That's a good comparison. This is alongside the usual stresses of putting teenagers in a house together. He looks nice. He's also my boyfriend. Oh, they've got something in common. I'm sure it'll bring them closer. And if you thought that Ellie had at least put that earlier murder behind her, then stop. Have time. Blood and Lace is not badly made. Gloria Graham is excellent. You'll be punished for this, Ellie. And it's nowhere near as pervy as you might expect. But I worry that any conclusion that brings together all those disparate plot lines will just be confusing. A worry the director seems to have shared, because he hasn't bothered. You got to see it to believe it. Ellie escapes the inescapable orphanage. Right. Really feels like the other kids weren't trying. We don't like kids who try to run away from our home. She's pursued by the mysterious hammer-wielding man. <laughs> who is not the murderer. Ellie is. I didn't even know that they were with her! I didn't want to hurt you! And the man... That's right, Calvin. This is the policeman investigating the murder of Ellie's mum, who has dressed up as Freddy Krueger's granddad because he thought the home was suspicious and decided that the best way to investigate was to make Ellie think that he was the man she murdered out for revenge, prompting her to flee and forcing Tom and Gloria into action. <laughs> A brilliant plan. You're so clever, Calvin. That results in three deaths. <laughs> Although, I don't think the policeman really cares, as his objective is Ellie herself. I want to marry you. Who is his daughter? Well, evil breeds evil, honey. How about it? When I rehash it like that, it sounds confusing, but actually it's pretty Scooby-Doo. 
What's confusing is why anyone would think these plot lines went together. You sure got a strange way of doing things. Gloria's husband was one of Ellie's mum's clients. And Jameson had found other beautiful women. Women like your mother. But this has nothing to do with the murder. In fact, the murder plot line and the orphanage plot line aren't related at all. Too scared to go by myself. That's ridiculous. And the teen romance impacts on neither of them. Yeah, it's all there. All of it. Frozen kids, sex in the shed, incest, hammer murders. It's all just shit that happens to Ellie. Although she did kill her mum, so maybe it's a morality tale. You and your little slut can have each other. I'm clearing out. Thanks for watching. This film was recommended to us by Patreon supporter Aidan Woodard. So thanks, Aidan. The film is called Blood and Lace. The blood we get. Why lace? Any suggestions in the comments below? But if you try to leave, I'll have to report it to the sheriff.